Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Chase accounts and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you download your Chase transactions into an Excel spreadsheet? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to download your Chase transactions into a spreadsheet anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running a business, you know that sometimes your bookkeeper or your accountant asks for your recent transactions in Excel or spreadsheet format. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Chase account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. I've already logged into my Chase account. Now, one thing I want to let you know is that in order to download a spreadsheet of your Chase transaction, you have to do this on a desktop. You can't do it on the Chase mobile app for some reason, which is kind of unfortunate. And that's at least at the time of the recording of this video. So once you're here on your Chase account, if you want to download a spreadsheet of your transactions, first you have to find the account. So you want to click on the accounts button here on the top left. Okay, so once you click there, you will see all of the accounts that you have on Chase. You can see I just have these two bank accounts. And next you want to choose the account that you would like to download all of the Chase transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. Okay, so once you click in there, you're going to see all of the recent transactions. So for this account, you can see there's these $25 transactions. Now, in order to download your Chase transaction history, click on this downward button here above the transactions. Okay, guys, so here is where you can go ahead and download a spreadsheet of your Chase transactions. You need to fill out these three items right here. First, you have to choose the account if you have multiple accounts with Chase. So this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Next, you want to choose the file type. So this is something that your bookkeeper or accountant or whoever's requesting the spreadsheet is going to let you know. So if you open this up, by default, it's going to be an Excel spreadsheet. But if your bookkeeper is working in Quicken or QuickBooks, you can download that file type as well. For me, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a spreadsheet. And then here you want to go ahead and open this up. Okay, so now you get to choose the date range. So maybe your bookkeeper is only asking for the transactions for the current month or maybe the past year. And how you choose that is click right here, choose a date range. Okay, so now you can go ahead and choose a date range. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do the last 60 days. So today is July 22nd. Okay, so I'm going to jump back to May 22nd. Okay, May 22nd. And then we're going to go all the way to July 22nd. I chose the last 60 days. Now, one thing I want to let you know is if you need to pull historical transactions past two years ago, unfortunately, you're just going to have to pull the paper PDF statement and then pull the data from the PDF, which is kind of annoying. The nice thing is that you can pay somebody on Fiverr or Upwork and they can pull that data for you. But if you need an Excel spreadsheet, the maximum you can go back is 24 months, which is two years with the Chase website. All right. So once we have all this filled out and you'd like to download your recent activity into a spreadsheet from Chase, click on download. Okay, next you're gonna see this pop up with a green check mark saying that you have downloaded your Chase activity into a spreadsheet. One thing I wanna let you know is if you're pulling a large amount of data, so anything over a thousand data points, you have to split it up, unfortunately. So for example, if you're trying to pull the recent year's transactions and you have more than a thousand transactions, you have to split it up. So that really depends on how often you are using your account or how many transactions are listed. So for example, over the past year, if you had 2000 transactions, you're probably gonna have to split it up into six months and six months. Now, if you did 2000 transactions in the first six months and then zero transactions in the second half of the year, you're gonna have to split up the first half of the year into three months and three months. So basically each spreadsheet has to have less than a thousand data points. So again, that's really gonna depend on your type of business. If you're running maybe like a restaurant and you have you know 500 transactions per day, unfortunately you're gonna to have to download quite a few spreadsheets. So let me jump on over to my spreadsheet and show you what that looks like from Chase. Okay guys, so I'm working on a Mac, so it just opens up in Mac numbers, but here is the downloaded spreadsheet data. This is not an account that I typically use, but as you can see, it's set up with the credit or debit, posting date, description of the transaction, and then the ending balance. And then if you happen to have a check that you were deposited, it'll be listed right here. So you can easily organize this data or just send it over to your bookkeeper. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to download your Chase transaction history, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.